Hi friends, it's Diana of Cauldron and Craft. Welcome to my Beltane video. If you're new here, I like to find the magic in the everyday and that's what I explore on this channel. I hope you enjoy these scenes from my morning walk. When I first started this channel a couple of years ago, one of my goals was to create a video for each of the spokes of the Wheel of the Year, which Beltane is one of them. And I didn't make one for Beltane then because I was so busy. And it's understandable that we always have so much going on in the springtime because we are fully out of hibernation. Everything is in bloom. There are so many projects to do and including going on your mental health walks. And so this is my first time actually making a video for Beltane, a full video. Beltane is what's called a cross quarter day, which is the halfway point between the spring equinox and summer solstice. As far as I can tell from reading, it's not a real holiday in the sense that there were ancient people who celebrated a day called Beltane. It's more an amalgamation of spring festivals throughout history all over the world and with various mythology. The most common commonly known festival is the Celtic festival where people would drive their cattle between two bonfires to protect them and to ensure prosperity throughout the year. May Day is a more modern festival that leans into the fertility aspect of Beltane. One of the most commonly suggested things to do for celebrating the Wheel of the Year is to get outside in nature and experience it. No matter what time of year, you can always be in the moment and absorb what's around you. I live in a smallish town, but it's basically in a city. So I don't have rural countryside right outside my door. It's close, but it's not right outside my door. So I go to local parks, which do have an abundance of wildlife, as you can see through my videos, and I get to enjoy the scenery there. To celebrate Beltane, I'm making a lemon custard with a mixed fruit topping. Ways to celebrate Beltane could be a picnic in the park, going to festivals, gardening, and generally just being outside. It's also yard sale season, garage sale season. Many people are clearing out clutter and it's good to go a good time to go treasure hunting for that purpose. So the recipe I originally started with didn't actually turn out very well. I cut out all of the footage of that recipe. It just didn't thicken and part of it was my fault. I heated it too quickly so it got lumpy but then even once I saved it it just didn't taste very good so I ended up making another recipe instead which I'll link down below. When making food to celebrate different seasons, I like to lean into the ingredients that really represent symbols of that season. So in this recipe, the lemon is going to symbolize the sun and how the sun is returning to its maximum strength, which it will be at the max at the summer solstice. The berries are in season, so it's a good way to celebrate the abundance that we are currently experiencing in the spring. And I'll put graham cracker crust at the bottom of the dish to symbolize the earth itself. So the earth, the sun, and the abundance all represented in one delicious bowl. Something I've struggled with in my spiritual journey and developing a practice is leaving offerings for deities because I don't believe in particular deities and 
I find I find it hard to personify the earth but I've decided that these strawberry tops will be my offering to the earth and I'll give them to my worms and they will be able to eat them and create beautiful castings that will help my garden. In the absence of bonfires, one has to make do with what they have. So I've set up two candles that will symbolize the bonfires and I'm gonna do a couple of different things for this particular Beltane. First, I am blessing a key, which is one of my favorite good luck charms, so to speak. And I'm gonna hang it over my garden to hopefully bless it and bring a good harvest. Next, I'm writing some things down, things I'm thankful for that I've accomplished in the last season in the last year, and also things that I want to accomplish in the coming season and the coming year. I realized I forgot some water. I'm going to pass this through the flames as well and then I'm going to set it under the water while I meditate on my intentions. Now I'm drinking the water to end the ritual. Time for dessert. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments how you're celebrating Beltane.